Hello and welcome. We meet again. Yet another healthy recipe on its way. So today we are going to make a sabzi, a vegetable out of rich gourd. We had explored how we can make a chutney out of the skin of the rich gourd. Today we are going to make a sabzi, a vegetable out of it, which is going to include some lentil and spices and a lot of flavors. So let's look at the healthy recipe. So here we have the ingredients: some dry red chilies, some freshly desiccated coconut. some fresh cut coriander some peeled rich gourd yellow moong dal which has been soaked for over an hour some garlic pods finely chopped onions chilies some rock salt let's begin with chopping some green chili we're going to finely chop it all right now we're going to keep these aside Here is the peeled rich gourd. We had made chutney out of the skin, and now we're going to use the same rich gourd. We're now going to chop it into very small pieces that can be cooked easily. So now to begin cooking the rich gourd, we're going to, of course, preheat a mud pan. So we are adding about one tablespoon of ghee into the heated mud pan. The once the ghee clarified butter is a little hot. I'm going to add some mustard seeds to it. Allow the mustard seeds to splutter. And once they start spluttering, you can add some cumin seeds. And now we're going to add all our spices. Be adding some green chilies. Green chilies as much as you like, some garlic again as much as you would like stir up all these spices and the smell is already so beautiful now i'm going to add some finely chopped onions into them stir and coat all of the ghee and spices onto the onions How do you know when the masala and onions are cooked? Uh one thing is the smell. You'll get the smell of the onions and the garlic and you'll get a roasted smell of it. If you cook them any further, they would probably be smelling charred. That's when you know that your masala is done and also with the visual of the onions going translucent and it's now hurting my eye. <coughs> There. Now I know it's done. So I'm going to lower the flame. And at this point I'm going to add the cut pieces of my rich gourd. Now I will coat this masala onto the rich gourd. At this point we will also add the soaked yellow moong dal. This is soaked for almost an hour not more than that. Uh if you don't have the time to soak it uh, for a couple of hours what you could also do is add it into some hot water and leave it for about 30 to 40 minutes and it should be done And at this point I'm going to add a little bit of rock salt into it Now we're going to add some turmeric At this point I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Raise the flame of the gas. You need only a little bit of water because the rich gourd itself has a lot of water and it's going to release all of that water and allow the dal to cook in those juices. Now while the sabzi is cooking If you add excess water it will turn into dal because it has moong dal into it. So make sure you don't add a lot of water and you don't even need to cover it with a lid because as I said rich gourd itself has a lot of water in it and it releases water when it cooks. So there's already enough water in the vegetable if you're eating it like a vegetable. If you're eating it like a dal then definitely a little excess water would be good. So now after about 15 minutes you would see that all the water has been evaporated from the pan and uh, the vegetable is nicely cooked and at this point we are going to add the desiccated coconut we'll add about a teaspoon uh, you can add as much as you want i am adding as per the quantity of my vegetable 
you can add as per your taste and now let's serve it hot you can have this with some chapatis you can have it with rice uh, you can have it with almost anything but honestly i wouldn't even mind having it absolutely by itself it's nice and flavorsome you can add a little bit of lemon to it if you like a little tang but otherwise it's an absolutely flavorsome vegetable very healthy extremely easy to digest full of protein and fibers add some freshly desiccated coconut add a bunch of microgreens or coriander greens and there your beautiful rich god bhaji or sabzi or a snack is ready